Well, it's a good day to take this apart. Uh, the last time I showed you this was the middle of winter time. And the filters were all plugged up. I got my mask on because of the dust on the, uh, as I remember, on the filter. get as much as I can out and then I'm going to wash it in water. When you dry this put it out in the sun or on heat because this can't be damp the uh, the filter. When they ship this new this was off so Two long screws. There. Just have to pry this piece up a bit. Make sure you got this ring on there. Okay. There was a filter in there, which is here. This can get washed. Okay, we'll dismantle this now. Two screws either side. And then the case will come off. That's what we got taken off. This one only had four, but some machines have a screw right there. So. That comes off. See the belt was burnt off. Lift the brush bar off. Yeah. This will come off. don't want to wash this in water because there's bearings here. You want to use a steel brush and brush that off. We're going to take this hose off. One screw right here. Right here. This inner black piece you can just pull it open here like that. Now you can disconnect the hose off here. this in water also. And that's that's the parts already. Not finished dismantling it would take I'm gonna look at the motor now. This can come off. Because if there was that much dust on the filter, there'll be some in the motor. So we're gonna start dismantling the motor, these screws. One, two, 
three, four, five, six at least. Okay, it's at least six. On this model, you can't mix up the screws because the other screws that I took from the brush bar were the same size. But if you want, mark them. Oh, it's not as bad as I figured. Look at that. I just took a picture of this, the way the winding went for the uh, for the power. And this is the cap here. I'll get in. This little cap had a clip on both sides and I seem to have bust the clip off on this side but anyway okay here's the switch the switch should just come out like that and when you put it back in straight back in now we can lift the motor out there motors out you want to blow it out with air q-tips and you can clean all the fins and this here now we can wash this part in the water give it a, a, a bit of a spray and then I'll wash it with the uh, soap. I'm halfway through washing it. I gotta get a screwdriver in there to take out that. But anyway, it's coming out pretty clean. I'm gonna let this dry overnight. And in the next video, I'll put it back together.